sore throat in children affects the brain. Strep throat is a bacterial infection that makes the throat feel sore and scratchy. Strep throat is most common in children, but it affects people of all ages. The cause of strep throat is bacteria known as group A streptococcus. If untreated, strep throat can cause complications, such as kidney inflammation or rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever can damage heart valve in later life. A study from Columbia University Medical Center and the University of Minnesota, found a link between strep throat and a rare neurological disorder, strep throat, have been linked to autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorders, notably pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorders associated with streptococcal infections, or PANDAS. Tamatharam Pillai Dilipan, Department of Microbiology and Immunology. University of Minnesota, USA is the author of the study. Published in the December 14, 2015 issue of the Journal of Clinical Investigation. Children with pandas exhibit Tourette's syndrome like motor and vocal tics and obsessive compulsive behaviors that appear unexpectedly. The streptobacterial cell wall contains molecules similar to those found in human heart, kidney, or brain tissue. These mimetic molecules are recognized by the immune system, which responds by producing protective antibodies. Because of this molecular mimicry, the antibodies react not only to the bacteria but also to the host tissues, producing autoantibodies that attack the body's own tissues. The blood-brain barrier prevents free movement of molecules, antibodies and immune cells from the blood into the brain. Scientists were not sure how these autoantibodies would gain access to the brain. The researchers discovered that recurrent strep infections trigger the production of immune cells, a type of helper T cell, known as Th17 cells, in the nasal cavity. This bacterial-specific Th17 cells move along the olfactory, or smell-carrying, axons from the nasal cavity through the sieve-like bone, cribriform plate, that separates the nasal cavity from the brain. From there, the cells reach the olfactory bulb in the brain, which processes information about smell. Once the Th17 cells enter the brain, they break down the blood-brain barrier, allowing Th17 cells to enter the brain and promote neuroinflammation. What's interesting is that the abundant group of strep bacteria in the nose, never penetrate the brain, are different from group B strep, that cause bacterial meningitis, enter the brain directly and causes neuroinflammation. These findings help for more definitive diagnostic test for pandas. Searching ways to prevent the entry of autoantibodies into the brain, by repairing the blood-brain barrier. Thanks for watching. Please click the link in description for more information.